Memorial Day means it is parade day in this town. That's impressive turf right there. Thank you. Woo! And I'm way behind on everything long care related. Uh, I have a big project that I'm working on right now. So I pretty much put my beds and landscape all on pause and got that completed. I just finished, well, almost finished it this weekend, but now we have a parade coming through today, so I need to make sure I get a little bit of my flower game up to par. Got some doubles. You can see my crop circle, but here are my flowers. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do, the technique that I use to be able to get my window boxes to pop. Got lots of flowers here. I have some potting mix, complete potting mix with moisture crystals. I've never used this stuff before. It was the only thing that they had. It has some NPK in it, uh, slow release, so it feeds up to six months. But I'll tell you guys some tips as well of how to feed your, of how to feed your flowers throughout the summer. Flowers are something that I love each year. After I got my home, I've always liked to uh, get my potted plants and just make them pop. I have a friend's buddy or I have a buddy's dad who is probably one of the best guys I know with their flower pots. So seeing him as a reference and learning from him, some of the tips and tricks he uses uh, has helped me have success. One of the biggest tips that I've learned from him is that you wanna get flowers that are already established. So these are geraniums, in particular they're American white. It's a full sun geranium. So these are already established. They have flowers on them. They have more buds coming on them. You can buy little seed, or you can buy little ones, um, just like the, the impatience. You can buy little impatience, but the key here is when you plant these, you want your plants to already look established, like they're already growing. Um, so you're just dominating the flower game. So you can also buy bigger potted like planters that you hang and just take those apart and put them in your pots too. Um, that way it's already it's already full, they're already grown. There are so many plants in here. And one of the tips that I was telling you about with if you wanna if you want to immediately have a big flower game, buy one of these. Buy one of these pots and simply take it out of there and put it in a planter, put it in a window box, and it'll immediately be big. It'll be big, it'll be ready to go. You can take these, take them out of there and put them right in the ground. So your, your ground game is gonna be on point. You don't have to buy these little flowers. So the Tanya, these little ones, you can start with ones that are already mature and ready to go. Start it up. This is all of last year's potting mix. I'm gonna take that out because I have new stuff. In your window boxes, you should have some holes in there. These get full sun, so I don't have to really worry about drainage because these plants cook. I actually can't water them enough. Another rule of thumb with plants like this or window boxes, potted plants, thrillers, spillers, and fillers. Spillers are the ones that are gonna expand. They're gonna fill up everything. Your thrillers are the ones that are gonna come up. And your spillers are something like these that'll hang down over your planter. These are sun patients. It's full sun um, or shade. Um, these are, you wanna make sure if you do impatience that you get the full sun ones. So I'll have a couple of these. I have geraniums in the back to pop, about two of those. This is a ver verbinia. He'll go about right in here and he'll fill out. And then I have a couple of these silver falls that'll go like that and spill out as well. So it's a little empty in here. These are gonna, this verbenia is gonna take off, fill that up. This is gonna fill up, these geraniums are gonna fill up and these are gonna fill up. 
So this will all pop in a couple of weeks. Use silver falls, geraniums, impatience, verbenia. Might put another silver falls in the center of there, but that's all there is to it. So make sure you're watering your plants twice a day. Check them for moisture. Make sure if they're sitting in the sun that you're watering them, making sure that the soil is nice and moist. Also, you want to be fertilizing them. Connor Ward has an awesome video or a couple of awesome videos on his flower game and it's super strong. And he recommends these Fertilum Blooming and Rooting. It's a 958.8. And then you also have the same Fertilum. It's a 2020-20 NPK. So you do a watering and then you do a feeding. You do a watering and then you do a feeding. So you rotate the 2020-20. You do a watering. You had 958.8. You do a watering. And this is what's going to help keep those plants blooming and growing and just look incredible all summer long. If you're ever worried about your planters blowing over, you can put some bricks in inside of here. It'll give it more weight, that way they don't tip over during a storm. Also, if you take some stuff and put it inside there, they have automatic like draining systems. They have some holes in there. But if you fill it up, then you're not using as much potting soil either. So you you don't waste as much. So you can take some plastic bottles like this, you can throw them inside there. Something that's not gonna absorb the water, but it's gonna just hit it and run right off down to the drain holes and not clog it up. It's got medium to heavyweight pine bark and it's got some coconut fibers in it. And then this stuff, as I mentioned before, is your fleet potting mix. Mix the cheap stuff with the expensive stuff. Absolutely love doing this. Did not get to do it last year. Priority was just staying alive with the newborn infant twins. Newborn infant. Newborn twins. I want to make sure that everything that we needed to do was focused around us. And you know there wasn't much energy left with us at the end of the day after caring for twins. All right, so there's that one. Give it a good, give it a good tamp. There we go. Hey, man, how you doing? That's impressive turf right there. Thank you. Woo! Man. in the middle of planning some of the things and my camera got way too hot and shut off so I apologize for that. I'll show you some tips and tricks of filling the containers with some plastic bottles to be able to take up some space that way you don't use as much potting soil but still use enough that your plants are going to be able to get good root uh, growth 
and nutrients from. And then my camera died. If you guys know any tips and tricks of how to keep your GoPro from overheating when you're filming in the summer, please let me know in the comments below because I feel like this is gonna be an, a reoccurring thing. So maybe it's something I need to do uh, for my GoPro to be able to last outside. Well, I guess today was pretty successful. We were able to get some plants planted, show you guys some tips and tricks that I like to use with my potted plants. We were able to get the window box planted. We were able to see an awesome little parade that my town throws at each year. Uh, it's pretty cool that it comes down right down this road and we were able to watch it with all the neighbors and neighbors get the flags out and you know we get our flags out and it's all it's all just a good time. Hope you guys like this style of video. Show a little bit more about me, my family, and this place. I've gained a lot of subscribers over the past year and I kind of want to just take you guys on a journey. You know, show you more than just a how-to video, but also show you a little bit more about me, about how I treat this, this whole place as a house, not just my lawn and specific examples. So thanks so much. Those of you who have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching this. Leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one.